Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you know, once, like I said, what, what I do quickly is I move to the next game, get ourselves ready, go through the same process. Uh, the coaching staff does a great job individually with the players and the group little uh, players to take them through their film of the night's opponents, what they're going to see with, against that opponent. So we've done a great job of um, keeping our guys mentally uh, focused on what's going to happen. Now, what takes place on the court is a different story. But uh, as far as the locker room, pregame, and getting those guys ready to go out and play, uh, everything has remained the same for the most part. Coach, regardless of the matchups, it seems like when you go to Jimmer Fredette and mm-hmm. Isaiah Thomas together, mm-hmm. they really change the tempo and the yep. speed of the game. Mm-hmm. How are you going to deal with that when you start getting the other bodies back? Well, just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> At least I'm going to try to do that because the guy, bottom line is the guy's going to make his shots. You know, you got to shoot. You know, you can be a great running team, but if you're not making the open shots when you get them, they're not there. You know, that's un- the part about the NBA. You start getting bodies back, things start changing, and now the guy goes to another role. You know, that's the tough part about coaching in, in the NBA when you don't have clear cut stars on your team. You know, we don't have 100% clear cut stars, but I, I, I do know that um, I share with these guys all the time that. You know, you got to make shots, and you got to take shots in the area. You know, a couple of nights ago, uh, we, a team put a zone on us for a moment. I said to a player, I took him out the game, a little upset. And I always show these guys their numbers. I put them in front of them. And uh, I said, uh, you know, hey, they're in the zone. I'm taking out the game. And then he finally realized, OK. So we got to look at that down the line. But obviously, we got to enjoy it right now. And then as certain guys start filtering back in, um, you know, I, I worked from there. I won't sweat on that until that happens. It seems like you and Isaiah are really, really starting to come on together. What do you guys want to agree on what's happening there? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just uh, two guys that can, you know, handle the basketball, pass it, willing passers, and can shoot the ball, you know, spread the floor, and we try to get up and down and transition as much as we can. So, you know, we've been working really well together. That's what, that's our jobs right now to come off and try to give our team a lift and uh, score the basketball and push the pace. So that's what we've been trying to do. This is the second big game of the year. Yeah, I am. You know, um, I talk to her every day now, and she uh, she told me to go out there and just play. You know, she's doing better. And, um, to hear that, you know, um, it, it lifts a big burden off my shoulder knowing that she's good, so um, I can go out there and play free. Uh, just being more aggressive. I don't, I don't know why. You know, it's it's been a trend for the last year or two. You know, I just play better second half. You know, um, I don't know what it is, but um, you know, any anything I can get a team, you know, um, to win, I'll do it. Well, they must have did him real wrong. <laughs> you know, must have did him very bad in Portland. You know, uh, but obviously that young man uh, is another guy on our team that uh, works every day. Uh, doesn't complain. And even tonight, uh, there's two cases tonight, two situations tonight where uh, I was getting ready to put him back in the game and right away he said, hey, coach, John is playing well. Let him stay in there. You know, and then another situation where I was running a play for him and he said, hey, let's get Tyler in isolation. Now, he doesn't understand Tyler right now, but he still tried to get him an isolation play at the elbow. And he probably would if he was taking a shot, he would have been OK, but he, one more dribble. But Travis has been a guy who worked every day, uh, always a student, uh, true veteran because he's coaching as long as well as playing. I mean, sharing with, with me. I mean, share with me something I had done here, uh, done in my previous place, was have things on the floor. You guys who've been at the uh, practice still saw those red boxes on the floor. Not for Christmas, they were just red boxes. And uh, it was to get back to the spacing spots. But prior to that, Travis had mentioned that to me, and I was planning on doing that again, but we did our, we did our floor this summer. And, um, and he's, he, so he's thinking the game and said, Coach, one of our biggest problems that we have is spacing. You know, we got to get back to the right kind of space. And so he keeps himself involved in the game, although when he's, in, when he's not playing. Yeah. Uh, it may be an X-team thing. So, you know, I mean, you never know. It, I just think it's more so, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like when I really get my opportunity and, you know, I, you know, hate the circumstances I do get it, but it's kind of like this. He plays me, give me a shot.